So here's the arrow we'll be using today. It is a bamboo arrow, crudely made, primitive steel point. This is um, a design that I use and feel very comfortable with. This is just hammered out, cold, no heat, it's just work hardened and shaped on the grinder to the desired profile that I like to use. And it's a single bevel. And it's just sharpened right off the grinder. I didn't put a file to it or anything. So um, imagine if you had one that was made out of uh, high quality steel and properly sharpened to a razor sharp edge. But let's let's see what this what this crude, crudely made primitive um, style steel point can do today. So foam. You know, it's dense, it's designed to stop an arrow, but it's not really the best indicator of what happens when an arrow enters a body cavity, but it's what we're working with today, so that's what we're going to do. Now here's the shield. As you can see, it's a pretty thick one. Um, what I did was I cut off a section that was um, the thickest and that hasn't been shot yet, so we can do this, this next test. And what I'm going to do is I plan on I plan on doubling it up, so however thick that's going to end up being, and trying to put that arrow through that. Alright, so here's the bow. Let's see what it does. It looks like 11 inches that time. Just slicing right through there. Through that thick shield. Only about seven inches. Here's the stone point. It's not by any means razor sharp. It is. A, this is a simple stone point. It's you know it's not really that sharp, but uh, you can see that they they do the job quite well. These work fairly well. There's there's lots of people that make much sharper stone points than this. Uh, but that's a simple one and you can see it did quite well. This arrow is a lot lighter than the other one.
Not the best shot, but I drew it past my draw length that time, so it was more towards the uh, 28, 29 inch draw. So, it, but it's still through the top side, which these are the thickest sides. So let's see what it did. Still a good Yeah, that's a good that's a good eight inches at least. Now just for comparison, let's shoot a forty pound board bow, so it's a red oak self bow. Let's see what this does. Right into the thickest, in a new spot. It definitely didn't get as much penetration, but it went through both. Um, you can see right here, this is about six inches where I had the black. So it probably got three inches maybe, which is just, just through both of these shield sections. Guess we should probably check the draw weight of this bow, huh? Do first my draw length. I'll go out to um, 28. There you go. I want to give a special shout out and thanks to the fine gentleman over at Showalter's Meats. That is an awesome establishment. If you are local and you haven't, go check them out. They'll feed you. Uh, just about every day I think they put out a sampler section. Um, but I did take some footage of that trip and picking this up because the, the boar shield is courtesy of them. So I'm going to roll that footage now. You guys enjoy that. Remember, hit subscribe, like if you liked it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.